Good morning. Right, so here we are. I'm going to salt the chicken first. Got some salt here, salt and pepper. Chicken breast there. All I need is a knife. A knife for the professional. Uh, is this one sharp enough? I don't even know. Have that, huh? Yeah, that's yeah, yes, yes, just bring the bring the professional the knife. Yeah, what can I knife. say? Yeah. Right. Um season the chicken. Um, it doesn't need a lot of seasoning. And just move, move it about a bit so that it's nicely seasoned. And then the next thing we're gonna do is we're going to um what I call butterfly. And it's not uh, a dance or an insect. Okay? It is a cut. It is a cut. Right? You should know what I mean. So here we go. So I've got 16 chickens in here. I'll take two. And uh, yeah. Right, we'll wash my wonderful hands. What am I washing my hands for? Yeah, because I'm left handed. Right, so here we go. So the, the chicken breast, I'm going to cut it like this. I'm going to open it up like that. Yeah? Mm. Right, and then I'm going to batten it out a bit later so it's flat. Why am I batting it out? So that it cooks evenly. Right, so I'm going to sit that under the, the clean film like that and do the same thing with this one. And then... I don't know which is, a, which, which is a good one. Pick up one of those and pull it. This is a good one. I knew that. Right, so here we go. Clean film there so not to damage the chicken. You can get a little bash. Think of someone that you don't like. I'm joking. <laughs> but not me. Oh, yeah. I'm your favourite lecturer. <laughs> so, do not be bashing the chicken and call it my name. <laughs> <laughs> Right, as you can see, delicious. I'll do the same thing with this one here. <laughs> Lovely, yeah? Very good. And then, I will remove the cling film. And then, what we call pane. Now, pane is breadcrumbs or flour, egg breadcrumbs. Remember that the chicken has already been seasoned. So we put it through the, the egg wash. Now this egg wash is um, flour, egg and water. It can be egg and water, egg and oil, or egg and milk. When you're using egg and oil, Usually, you start it off in a pan and finish it off in the oven, and the oil in the pan will keep it succulent. When you're using egg and water or egg and milk, it's normally because you're going to fry it all the way through. So it's in oil anyway. So if you're going to bake, do this in the oven, let the mixture in the egg be egg and oil. Yeah? But anyway, we've got egg and water. And we're going to shallow fry it. Tuck that in there, we don't need it. Right, now, let us all use this pan rather than have one on, 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 on each table. Um, so, we're not working in pairs, we're working in individual. If we've got enough red chopping boards, if not, we can share the chopping board, but we really want to be frying it individually. And uh, then it goes through the breadcrumbs like that. Then I'm going to turn on the frying pan, saute pan, get it fairly hot. Fairly hot, not too hot. Because if I'm going to fry it all the way through on here and it's fairly hot, the breadcrumbs will be brown. But the chicken will still be raw underneath. Mm. Yeah? 
And uh, we, we don't want to kill, kill any of our customers, do we? So, there we go. Now, I want to turn that, turn you over there so you can see. Yeah. So, I want to, the best thing for me to do is to turn it up really high just to get it hot. And then I'm going to turn it down. And in the meantime, here's the tongs that I prepared earlier. The tongs that I prepared earlier, here they are. The tongs are. <laughs> yeah, I knew that. All right. Can I have a small jug? Yeah, of course. Right. Right. Um, the other thing we could do with um, the the chicken, what we're not going to do with the chicken, we could put it into strips. Yeah. Mm. Same motion and deep fry. It would be called chicken goujons. But either way, it's the same yummy, isn't it? It's the same yummy, really. Same it's, thing, it's, just it's more it, convenient. It's just more convenient. It, it becomes finger food, doesn't it? Better to eat. Yeah. Right. right. This this one this one is more like chicken burger type thing. Mm. The other one is just like chicken strips. All right, but it's the same thing. So I've got it. Um, I've um, got it on a fairly medium heat. Um, personally speaking, when I'm doing um, chicken, especially chicken breast, unless I'm deep frying it, I'm shallow frying it, I like to start it on the stove, get it golden brown each side, and then I'll finish it off in the oven, in a high oven, about 180. About how long on each side? Uh, about <laughs> depending on the heat, right? Depending on the heat, about a minute each side. If it's a, if it's a nice, get, get the pan hot, turn it as low as you can, and you want it golden brown, not golden black. Yeah, yeah. golden black and charcoal brown is not acceptable. Okay. okay. How, long, how long in the oven? In the oven. Um, it, all in all, it takes about seven minutes to cook. Oh, right. So if we do two minutes, you know, each side on the thing, five, five minutes should be, you know, should be enough. Oh, yeah. But make sure the oven is high. Okay. All right. So now that is a, a nice complexion. It's a golden brownish, delicious looking lot, right? And then that's going to go into the into the oven for about five minutes. And um, if the chip fryer's on, we'll do some chips. I've got some chips there. We're going to chop some chips, and that will be your lunch. You can eat it with your stir fry, you can eat it with chips, you can do what you like. Right? Right? So, um, the good thing the good thing about today is, and today's a good day. Right, um, pass me a round plate. Right? And I want to uh, show you what it needs to look like. Right, so, um, put the plate there, the plate there, remove the wire, the wire is not part of my lesson. Right. So let's just check, a bit more, let's just turn it up a little bit, speed up the process, just want to get a bit more colour on that side before I shove it into the oven. Right. Bit more colour. Bit more colour. Now this morning, um, we got all the ingredients that we needed, didn't we? Yeah. Right. So I'm going to suggest you get a little ramekin or something, and get the oil that you need, rather than take away the jug and just run around run, run, looking for it. Okay. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. When I finish, when I finish, when I finish, I'm going to show you what I'm looking for, and then put it back. Oh my God. Right. All right. 
Because I said what I'm looking for, and then at least you got an understanding. Lovely. So, oops, haha. The chicken that's falling apart. But there you go. Right? That is the, the colour we're looking for. Yummy. It'll still be a bit raw. But should, well, it's a bit cooked. Uh, it should be a little bit raw in the middle still. It needs a bit more. It's about seven minutes is uh, boneless chicken. Three and a half minutes each side. You can do it three and a half minutes each side on the stove, but keep it low. Or you do it high and then stick it into the oven. So one, cool. Two. Huh? Round two. Or Around who? Around two. Do you know for the hole? The hole. Oh. Yeah. So here we go, making the chips look at, or trying to make it look presentable. A chip tower, nevertheless. Put a nice bit of chicken on there. Oh, it's hot. Um. Ha 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 ha. Um. Give me a spatula. This slice. Yep, yeah, that's the one that'll do. Right, chicken's hot. Right, so that go on top like that. Oh, delicious. Bon appetit. Oh la la. There you go. All right, cool. 